think I know why my YouTube videos aren't doing that well. I said, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. I'm listening to a podcast by Graham Stephan. He's giving Bobby Meisner some advice on creating content and how he was talking about how David Dobrik's content, when you watch his videos, you feel like you're part of it. Yeah. You're sort of a part of the vlog squad, you're part of the game. Yes, it's not relatable and you can't relate to his $8 million house, but he's bringing you along with the journey. Whereas Bobby Meisner, this person who creates all these cool lifestyle travel footage, he just shows these amazing cool montages and people sort of watch it as an observer. So what I'm realizing is I thought by doing these raw videos that I'll sort of be able to bring you guys into my world and sort of share you guys the things that I'm going through every day. But you guys are probably watching it more as an observer and it doesn't feel like you're a part of the journey with me. I suddenly, I do need to change my tonality. Like this video, I'm trying to sort of explain the story on how and why I've come up with this video topic. And the video topic is probably something like why my YouTube channel died or I'm gonna bring you guys along on my journey. Or the title might be basically what I want to go ahead and do from now on is start telling stories, giving context to how I had went ahead and had that light bulb so that you guys can get a taste of what my day to day life is like. And you guys are like, oh, he did that and that led to that. So explain it from A to Z. And yeah, I guess that's this video. This is my first attempt at doing this new style, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm reading all the comments. I reply to all comments. Peace.